Hello everybody, it's been a while. Wait, no it hasn't, it's been a week, but it feels like it's been a while. I don't know why, but it does. Anyway, today we are going to be joining Jane from Tarzan. This was actually requested by Dylan Jeffers like a long time ago. Like it's probably been like three or four weeks now. And I promised him that I would I would draw Jane. Um, I, I don't know, I just, every time I tried to sit down and draw Jane, I just had problems. I was like, problems coming out of my ears, but I wanted to pursue for Dylan, so this is what I ended up with. I actually drew Jane like over eight times in my sketchbook trying to figure out this dress because I was having so much trouble with the dress and the way it was flowing and the, where it's supposed to be like sticking out on her. And I was just having serious problems. So this is actually my third attempt to draw her digitally. And let's just say the other ones, you know, I don't know what was going on with those, but so, but so, haha, <laughs> but so. Anyway, this one is my latest attempt, which I made it, I stuck through it. Originally, when I had started this attempt, I decided that I was going to draw, I was like, screw the, the little yellow dress. I'm going to draw her in that tank top and like maroon flowy skirt that she wears like near the end or in the middle or something. I don't remember. I haven't seen Tarzan in a little bit, but it's okay. And so I was going to draw her in that. So I started drawing everything out and I got a pose in mind and I was, but as I was drawing the pose, I was like, let me try one last time in this dress. Just one last time. Everyone's gotta have that last time in the house. So this was gonna be it. If it didn't work this time, I was gonna give up. And I stuck through it and it worked. It just goes to show you that you need to have faith in yourself and just get it done. When you're in that, when you're about to hit a brick wall, just try to jump before you hit the wall. And if you hit the wall after you jump, then turn around and go around the wall. But if you jump and you don't hit that wall and you go right over the wall, you find a shortcut. Hopefully that metaphor made sense. I don't know. Well, that was honestly just like right off the top of my head. Speaking of troubles, now we're on this hand which I actually drew backwards first. So I had to erase the whole thing and re-sketch it out. I'm trying to draw the hand again. Here I am. Finally, I tried to sketch it again. But this hand, it just got really, it looked really squished and in there. So I tried again. And this one looks really cartoony. It's not very realistic hand. But I was like, hey, I'm going to go with this one and just try to finish the rest of the picture and see what happens. And now I'm doing her hair. I always do hair line art on a separate layer so that I can color it. And it won't accidentally color like her eyelashes or her eyebrows or her skin color. So it just makes it easier. I like to add the hair on a different layer. And here comes the part that I nearly died again. The skirt. So I tried to sketch out the skirt again because I knew I was having a little bit too much trouble with this. So I did. And then I tried to put line art on it. But I don't know. This whole thing just one pile of mess. <laughs> okay, see, now I'm shrinking it. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. Why don't we go down to the things that I've written down instead of speaking off the top of my mind? Okay, so I said when you're doing line arts, you want to take any part that might be tricky, like the hands that you've seen or the hair or anything that might take multiple tries to get the line art to look right. Always do it on a separate layer so that when you erase it, you don't erase some of the line art that actually looked good. Okay, there's a tip for you. Um, something else I wrote down was that, that I had trouble with the dress. And so I actually drew the dress. I drew this yesterday and then I finished the line art today. When I drew it yesterday, I didn't like, I was happy with it yesterday, but then when I logged in again today, I was like, eh, that's not really gonna cut it. So I tried to draw it again. That's what the gray sketch layer was. I don't know what this thing's called, but that little poofy thing on the back of her dress that makes her like booty look poppin'. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was really hard to draw. I don't know why, maybe it's, it's perfect roundness. That's probably why it looks wrong. It's because it's so round. I don't know. And now I'd like to welcome to the show One-Eyed Jane, my little key for coloring. <laughs> Say hi to Jane, everybody. One-Eyed Jane is really useful to me. She is this wonderful key where I can see what parts of Jane need different colors. So you can see that her dress is yellow. She has a brown belt. She has a blue neckerchief hanging from her white collar and her hair is brown as well as her eyes are blue or a, a turquoise green and she has a purple eyeshadow. I like doing it this way for several reasons. One, uh, the colors are there and they're easier to grab from than like if it was just an image. Like some images could have other characters in it and it could be distracting. This time, this way you, you only, only have what you need. And the other reason is because I don't like putting copyrighted images in my videos. So oh, that's a good one. That's a good point. So you can try that next time. You use a nice color key and create something out of it. You know, like one eye, one like one eye Jane. I forgot any more. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, one eye Jane. 
Ah, uh, it's all right. I forgive you. Well, thank you, one eyed Jane. I didn't know you could talk. Yeah, I can. Now, would you carry on with your business, please? Uh, oh, okay. Anything you say, one eyed Jane. That was kind of embarrassing. I just want to finish off this video saying with the coloring, I absolutely loved the coloring. It was a lot of fun, even comparis in comparison to all the line art and sketching troubles that I was having with her dress. But I think it all came together pretty nicely with the colors and the colors that were like, I like her color scheme. I don't know what I'm talking about. One Eye Jane totally frazzled me. Um, yeah, so I added a little bit of a highlight to the top of her head with a light gradient. And then she's going ooh, 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 like a monkey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm sorry, Dylan, it took so long. But here it is. And I hope you guys all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye. Hey, you made it to my end slate. Here you can, you know, check out my very first sketchbook video if you click up at the top right of your screen. If you want to see my Q&A video, you can just click right below that. And right below that one is my is video of me drawing maple for Valentine's Day. So if you haven't checked out either of those videos ever before, you know, click on them now and experience something new. Anyway, I'm going to stop being in your face and say goodbye. Goodbye. By the way, if you're watching this on a mobile device, you can't click on any of the annotations and you'll have to find them in the link below. Sorry. Okay, bye.